Welcome back to your review for the Algebra 1 Semester 1 final exam. We're working problem 18 or whatever number matches this problem for this year. Um, we need to find the coordinates for the x-intercept of this linear equation, this equation that makes a line. So let's just take a look at a random line here and let's pretend that the line looks like this. Okay? x-intercept is over here, y-intercept is over here. Now, think about just some numbers. Let's say that this y-intercept is at 4 and the x-intercept is at 7. I'm just making this up. Okay? If the x-intercept is at 7, we write it as a coordinate point. We say we go over 7 on the x and up 0 on the y. If the y-intercept is 4, we say we went 0 on the x and 4 on the y. So if we're looking for the x-intercept, and we think about what an x-intercept is, an x-intercept is going to be any time that the y is 0. So the trick for this to find our x-intercept is all we're going to do is take the original equation, which is 6x minus 3y equal to 24, and we're going to build a point. We're going to build the point that happens when y is 0. Because if y is 0, we'll have a coordinate that's on the x-axis. So that literally just means take your equation, but instead of y, make it 0. And it looks like this. We're going to clean this up a little bit. I have 6x, negative 3 times 0 is just 0, so that's gone, equals 24, divide by 6, and we end up with x equal to positive 4. So we find a final answer of 4, comma 0, and we're done. Notice that if they'd asked you to find the y-intercept, we'd do the same thing, but instead of making x 0, I'm sorry, instead of making y 0, y-intercepts always have x0. They have no x and they only have a y on a y-intercept. So we do the same thing, 6x minus 3y equal to 24, but we replace x with 0 instead of y and then get y alone. 